Hey guys, Jason with Decal Factory here today with another installment. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between four color process or full color print and spot color print. Um, the difference being is that with spot color print, um, the ink gets laid down in a flood, if you will. Okay, so part of that is like this. Okay, you have all the colors separated. They're all one. They're all they're all grouped in into one area. Okay, now how ink gets laid down on this is you put your lighter colors first, and then you trap it. Right, you're trapping the lighter color with a darker color. So yellow goes underneath red, and black goes on top of red. You see what I'm saying? Or 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 I'm sorry, yellow goes underneath red. Red goes on top of yellow. Black would go would go on top of red. Okay, so the lighter the color, the further the further it goes down. Yellow is one of the lightest, so it's the first to get laid down. This is the same with four color process, except in four color process, um, the what happens is that it's built with dots. Okay, little itty bitty dots like that. And there's only four colors in, in, in four color process. Four color process is also known as CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Don't even ask me why they made black K, because I have no clue. They could have just made it CMYB. I don't know why they didn't do it, it's dumb. But the powers that be thought K was a good idea, they were probably smoking something. Um, anyways, and so, the the uh, the yellow goes down first. The cyan goes down second. The magenta goes down third. Black goes on top. Black is like, I mean, it it, it doesn't look right until the black is on there. But the thing with CMYK or for full color is that the dots have to line up perfectly. Otherwise, it looks uh, pixelated. So let me give you two examples of this. So Kara's gonna bring the camera over. Okay, so we can get in the light here. Okay. This is good four color process. This is amazing four color process. You can see, you can see the fish here, right? This is four color process. You can see the, the, you can see the individual dots. If not, you can see it in the casco, okay? You can see the magentas in there. The dots are lined up perfectly. Now, here's bad four color process. Here's bad four color process. I mean, not bad, but, but, this is just old technology. This was probably printed 10 years ago. So technology has changed so much, but you can see how the truck is pixelated. But you pull it back a little bit, it looks great. It looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just when you examine it super, super close that it looks pixelated, right? Okay. So with that being said, um, the, the thing, with that being said, the thing that has blown everything away is digital. Digital has made it so that four color process or full color or CMYK is accessible to anybody for any quantity. Uh, it's changed the print industry completely. Uh, you still need to get a very good machine to get good results, but you don't have to run thousands in order to get the price down. So, like, let me show you. This is this. This would have been a, uh, a spot color decal. Okay, um, you can see those black lines in there, or around the edge there. There's no way silkscreen could have done this. It, this is done digital. This has to be done digital. There's no other way. And they're lasting outside now. So um, I have example after example after example of spot colors and four color process. You know, if you're interested in this, I would love to send you out some samples. And show you everything that we can do on this, because our spot color looks fantastic, and our and our and our four color process looks phenomenal. It'll make your brand just pop. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, um, I will leave my I'll leave my, my phone number and my email address down below. If you like the video, didn't like the video, suggest other topics for us to talk about in, in the print industry. Leave a comment on, on on the video down below. Thanks, guys. Remember to subscribe.